Hello and welcome to my tutorial on doing smoke spare ribs and tips. As you can see right here in the video I have a spare rib I just took out of the pack. It's full and what I am doing right now is I am cutting off the uh, the meat on the back of the rib uh, so we can get that off of there. That'll be part of the uh, the tips that we're going to make. So. Uh, it's going to take me about three minutes or so to do this. I wanted to keep it all on here so you guys could see exactly how to cut that off. Because if you cut too much into it, then you're going to really damage the ribs. Um, another thing I'd also like to tell you is make sure you have a sharp, sharp knife. Um, you don't want to, because if, you, if you're using a doll knife, basically all you're going to do is you're going to just, you're going to be ripping the meat and sawing the meat and then you're just going to have an inferior product when you're done you know you pay enough money for these spare ribs you might as well you know at least at least buy you a good knife sharpener and sharpen it up real good before you uh before you start cutting on it now um almost done here as you can see it only took a couple minutes to do uh right now i'm just trying to chop away some of that fat right there it's this one was pretty fatty when i bought it i really didn't notice it too much inside of the package but after I got it out and got it got it all situated it, it was it was pretty fat so uh, there was a lot of fat on it so uh, uh, you'll see me chopping fat away here and there alright well we got that piece off of there so now we're going to go to cutting the uh, the top part of the spare rib off uh, we're gonna make these uh, St. Louis style um, which just basically means if you follow the the, if you're looking where the meat line is there, if you follow the meat line, you're just going to cut cut them off. You're just going to cut it off at that portion there. And uh, so what I'm going to do here is uh, start chopping them. And I'd also like to tell you, like I said earlier, and I, and I can't say this enough throughout the video, is get a sharp knife or have a sharp knife and make sure you get it real, you know, use your sharpener and get it good and sharp because you're going to be cutting through some pretty thick ribs. Um... You know the bones in them are pretty big, um, especially towards the, the the bigger side of the of the spare rib. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to get that off of there, uh, and then what I'm going to do end up doing after that is uh, is uh, trimming a little bit of the fat, and then I'm going to end up uh, actually trimming the the uh, excess meat that we cut off of the rib, and you know put them in, putting them in uh, cutting them into uh, strips. So we can use that. I'll make a barbecue uh, uh, marinade that I'll cook those in in the smoker. And again, you'll see that later in the video. Um, now, what you'd also want to do is uh, you you, you want to prepare these at least six hours before you put them on the smoker because you're going to put your rub on them or you're going to put them in marinade. I I, I use a uh, rub for the ribs itself. Um, I'm not going to go too much into what I use. Um, because you know that's my little secret but uh, let's just say it has various spices in it uh, it has some uh, pepper salt uh, cumin um, there's a lot of uh, um, brown sugar in there there's a couple other spices but I'm not you know I'm not at liberty to say or let's just say I I don't want to say but anyways, all right, we got that all cut off. If you look at the uh, video here, you'll see where the chunks of rib that I cut through. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on getting this membrane pulled off. This is a very important step in uh, making, in, you know, into preparing your spare ribs. Because if you don't pull this membrane off, you can cook them ribs for 50 hours and I doubt they're going to fall apart. That thing is one tough cookie. Um, you want to get that off and it'll, and you know. I'm going to use the three, two, one cooking method here. So, uh, oh wow, look at that quick transaction between video between video clips. Um, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm actually taking the bottom side of the meat that I carved off in the very first part of the video, and I'm just going to make uh, strips out of them. And through the uh, magic of editing, I'll have this done here real quick. Um, but you know, it takes a little bit. It takes me from start to finish. You know, pulling the ribs out until I have the tips all cut up and marinated, and the uh, and the ribs all marinated. 
usually takes me about 45 minutes. So what you need to do is, add, and you don't see this in the video because you know I'm trying to keep the video as uh, short as possible. Um, like right there, you see me working with this meat. I actually have the ribs inside of the refrigerator while I'm doing this, and then when I'm when I was doing the ribs, the other meat was in the refrigerator. I only pull the meat out when I'm ready to either cut it or do the marinade. But uh, as you can see there, the strips are pretty much cut. I'm you know trimming a little bit of the fat off there. And what you what you what you want to do is try to get as most as much of that fat off of there as possible because you, really who wants all that fat in their food I mean look at that that's disgusting that's all the fat that I took off of them spare ribs I mean who wants to eat that I mean I don't unless you're some 600 pound fat ass but uh, here, here's a picture of close up of the tips with the my rub on it there's the back side of the ribs with the rub and here's the front side of the ribs with my rub and there's a close up of it um, now I went, I you know, through the through editing, I didn't show me putting it in, the, putting it in the smoker. That was just I already put it in the smoker, and right here, I sh I opened it up about that was about an hour that I opened it up so you could see the, uh, you know, see what the meat was looking like. Here I am uh, taking out the uh, the rib slab because what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting it inside of this aluminum foil. And I'm going. I'm using grape juice, uh, white grape juice, to uh, which I'm gonna pour into the bag and I'm gonna see, or into the aluminum foil, which will seal. Then we'll seal it up afterwards, and we'll let that cook for oh about two hours. And then once that you know once that gets cooked, what we'll end up doing is taking it out of there, out of the aluminum foil, and putting it back in. But you don't see me doing that because, like I said, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. As you can see up here, there's the uh, the tips cooking. They're doing they're doing pretty good. We'll leave them in the full time. And oh, I forgot my son wanted a uh, some smoked pastrami, pastrami. So I'm doing him a pastrami. But I've already got videos made, you know, showing how I do the pastrami. So I'm not going to focus too much on it. I'll show you at the end what it looks like in the video. But uh, as you can see. It's just doing its thing there. I use the uh, the towels on there because it helps keep the the heat in. I mean, my smoker is pretty cheap and thin metal, so oh, here you go. I got the ribs out. As you can see, them ribs are just poking out of there. They're 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 wanting to fall off the bone. So uh, here, oh, here I am uh, going ahead and cutting the uh, pastrami up. And through the magic of editing, it'll be cut up here in a second to show you. Look at that yumminess. I tell you what, my kids love that. And there's a sandwich I made. And as you can see, I ended up getting about oh, almost two pounds out of that. But uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. And uh, I'll definitely do some more. So you guys take care. And until the next video, I'll see you.